This is part one in a series of two of what is definition. A good definition has three elements. It has the term, the class, and how it differs from every other term in its class. To begin with, the term is the word or phrase that you're defining. In this particular essay, you're defining exploration. But it could also be success, love, exploration, freedom, desperation, happiness, or fear. Once you've decided on the term you want to define, you need to decide which class it falls into. The class is the general term that the term falls into. In the case of a German Shepherd, that could have many different classes that you need to choose. Just choose one. It could be dog, it could be sporting dog, it could be pet, it could be animal, it could be mammal. There are a number of different classes that it could fall into, but you have to choose the one that works best with your definition. Here are some examples of class using the words that we discussed before. In black is the term and in red is the class. Love is a feeling. Exploration is a desire. Success is a goal. Fear is a phantom. Happiness is a dream. Desperation is a prison and freedom is an open door. Lastly, you need to share how it's different from every other term in its class. In this case, we're gonna look at those phrases, the terms and the classes that we looked at before, and now we're going to add some extra information that shows us how it is different from the class. In this case, love is a feeling that grabs hold of your heart and will never let it go. Exploration is a desire to forego your familiar life for the unknown. Success is a goal that, unless you are careful, can chew you up and spit you out. Fear is a phantom who wanders your mind. Happiness is a dream that one can bring to life. Desperation is a prison that drives one to scale its walls. And lastly, freedom is an open door that people take for granted until it is blocked by miles of ocean, desert, and or razor wire. Don't forget that a term can have many different de definitions. Readers want to know your definition and not the dictionary. Don't forget, a term can have many definitions. Readers want to know your definition and not the dictionaries. People will define the same term in different ways based on their own experiences. In this case, let's look at how three different authors define success. Oscar Wilde says, success is a science. If you have the conditions, you get the result. Whereas Albert Schweitzer says, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you'll be successful. And Jim Rohn says, success is steady progress towards one's personal goals. This type of definition is very subjective and it's based on your own ideas of what the term means. So don't be afraid to think outside of the box and beyond what somebody else thinks your term means. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at part two of what is definition. Have a wonderful day.